Mabuha young readers and family. My name is Angel and I am a cultural studies PhD student at UC Davis and today as part of my Asian American book club series I wanted to share some of my favorite Filipino American children's books. This book that I wanted to share is actually my own. This is we are inspiring the stories of 32 inspirational Asian American women. And the reason I created this book is because I was so inspired seeing books like Bold Women in Black History and other feminist empowering stories, but I wondered why I couldn't find any stories about Asians and even less stories about Asian Americans. As my book seeks to demonstrate. There are so many inspirational Asian American women throughout history and in the present day. Chinese American activist, obviously Yuri Kochiyama, Pharaoh Wing, Ninochka Roska, Helen Zia, and more. So this book demonstrates the diversity and both ethnic diversity and occupational diversity Asian American fans and folks are able to strive for and dream about. This next book I found super randomly at the recycled bookstore in San Jose. And this one is called My Manga Lihim Kami Ni Ing Kong. And the subtitle says Secrets with Lolo. Little boy who spends time with his grandpa. But what happens is his grandpa starts forgetting who he is. So it's a story about what happens when your grandparents get old and how this little boy truly truly loves his lolo or his grandpa. His lolo means grandpa in Tagalog. Next book is called Jack and Aigu. And if you don't know what this is, this is a ancient script called Babayan that originated within the Philippine Islands. And this is written by Justine Villanueva and illustrated by Lenore Bontigal. How beautiful is this hardcover book? So I actually picked this up at a conference. I believe it was at UC Davis. And this is honestly one of my favorite, favorite, favorite children's books of all time. And this children's book really brings up the issue of the lack of diversity in children's books within the United States. Most of the characters he saw blue-eyed, yellow-haired, and fair-skinned did not look like him. He worried it meant he could not be a pirate or an astronaut or a wizard after all. But then here he is going for the art supplies and he's going to color the characters brown so that they look like him and he will feel inspired by that representation to do amazing things. And so I love this book. It is so hilarious. It has such a great message on fighting for that diversity in children's books. And I definitely can see this being in any elementary school across the US. I think any brown child would be floored to see a book like this. Also, amazing part about this press, which is, which is Sawaga River Press, they also make a effort to translate the story into multiple dialects, not only Tagalog, but also other Filipino dialects, which I appreciate so much. Um, so this is a dialect that my mom's family speaks, which is Visayas Cebuano. And of course there's like Filipino, which is the standard Tagalog. And it's just amazing to see the effort that they put into making this book as accessible to the Phil Ann diaspora as possible. This next book is also by Justine Villanueva and this one's illustrated by Andrew Rogers called Mama Mama Do You Know What I Like? 
or Mama Mama Baloka Umsa Akonganahan. And so this book is actually in Visaya mostly, but there's also Filipino translations on the back. This next book I also picked up from a conference. And I think this was also at UC Davis at the Below Sun Center conference, but they had a booth for Archipelago books. And I left a little bookmark in here. So for folks who don't know, Archipelago is the Filipino bookstore in San Francisco. And they just have an amazing collection of Phil Am and Philippine Studies books. Highly, highly recommend checking it out if you're in the Bay Area or supporting them online. And what I loved about this book, when I saw this pineapple, I was like, I know that story. Because my mom told me the story when I was a kid, which is why the piña, or the pineapple, has a hundred eyes, a Filipino myth. And my mom told me the story, and me and my uh, friend Melody, who's also Philam, we presented it in front of like all the kids in school at a talent show and this is like a predominantly white school so when we were just like screaming at each other and then one of us turned into a pineapple all the other kids were like whoa what's going on and i just remember being so excited to share this story because i was like no one's heard of this before but look at how cool it is to be filipino american you know Not only this story but other classic philippine folk tales about fruits and this one yeah and of course, of course, of course, I have to mention the amazing Journey for Justice, The Life of Larry Itliong, authored by the late Don Mabalan. May she rest in power. I never actually met Don in person, but so many of my colleagues were inspired by Don's work and her legacy lives on in these amazing books. You know, it makes history so fun for kids. If you really want to learn about the history of the United Farm Workers Movement, teach your students about activism, um, pan-ethnic coalition building, which in this case was between Filipinos and Mexicans, I definitely a thousand percent recommend this book for your family or for your school's library so important for students to know that they can make a difference. And this very last children's book is a young reader's chapter book. This is called Any Day With You by May Respicio. And what I love about this book is that the character's parents, so her name's Kaya, are literally the coolest people. So her dad works as like an illustrator for an animation company, which is so cool. And that's what inspires like Kaya to go to like these film contests and do makeup for films and stuff like that. And her mom is actually an Asian American studies professor. I'm like, how cool are these characters? not only about like family dynamics between a girl and her love for her grandpa, her rivalry between her and her sister that she feels, she also talks about how she's creating this film with her friends and their film team is called Team Bakunawa. And if y'all don't know, oh my god, this book, the Jack and Aigu book, Agu, Ag Agu, Agu book actually has a picture of one of those mer creatures that is talked about in this book so that's why i i don't know i love these like books that bring up and teach young kids to get excited about philippine myths and it is just a really really great read definitely for like um, more advanced elementary school readers and going into middle school. This is such a cute read and I highly highly recommend any of May's works. And that is the end of this video! I hope y'all enjoyed learning about these Phil Am children's books. If you have any other children's books you think I should check out, that I should add to my library, that I should suggest more folks add to their like elementary middle school libraries, definitely link it down below. And thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.